Hey you guys, Expertin here, back with another Destiny 2 video, and as we all know, Season 18 is just weeks away from us, which is crazy when you think about it, how fast time goes by, but in this video I will show you guys a few key things that you can do to help you guys prepare for next season and have a leg up and advantage for when the next season launches. And I'm going to list these in no particular in order. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to list a few things that are that I think are very important to prepare for next season. And yeah. So the first thing we're going to start off here is bounties. Everybody's favorite. Bounties have been of one of the most key and most important things to do to help prepare for each new season. A lot of players like to hoard bounties, so to speak. That's what they like to call it. They call it bounty hoarding. And basically what this means is you keep as many bounties as you possibly can store inside of your inventory and complete them. But don't turn them in. Hold them until the next season drops and you get your artifact as well as the shared wisdom buff. As far as how much XP bounties give you, weekly bounties will give you 12,000 XP, daily bounties give you 6,000 XP, and repeatable bounties give you 4,000 XP. Which doesn't sound like much, but the main reason why bounty hoarding is so important is because of your artifact. When we get the artifact next season, in season 18 you're gonna want to have as many bounty stores as possible because the more bounties you hold that's the quicker you're gonna be able to low up your artifacts so you unlock the artifact mods much faster as well as progress your season pass quicker now we're gonna move on to our second important thing to do okay, next up we have complete your season pass this is very important because although you can claim your season pass rewards after this season ends and the next season begins you will not be able to unlock these season pass rewards once this season ends so make sure that you complete your season pass and hit at least rank 100 now you can go past that obviously but it won't really matter the big thing here is to just make sure that your season pass is completely unlocked so you can have access to all the rewards because when next season drops if you have armor and your season pass sitting there that you have not claimed yet that will give you a big advantage when it comes to power leveling when next season launches because what you can do is after you hit the soft cap and the hard cap you can use the armor and this season pass to help you balance out your light level which means making all your armor pieces and weapons the same light in order to increase your power level which is huge for power leveling so make sure that you complete your season pass before the next crucial season. thing to make sure that you do to prepare for next season is to farm arc exotics there are a lot of top tier arc exotics in the game right now and with next season being about arc 3.0 and arc subclass changes arc exotics are gonna come out of the darkness and you will see many players using them so make sure that you farm as many arc exotics as you possibly can preferably with high stat armor to get the most out of them now the most efficient way to farm your arc 3.0 exotics would be through legend slash master lost sectors these sectors rotate daily and have many champions and modifiers, so be sure to optimize your gear before farming them, and check what type of armor drops from the sector first. Alright, next up we have finish your seasonal challenges slash complete as many as you can, because seasonal challenges are a great source of bright dust, and if you complete all of your seasonal challenges, or at least most of them, you will have a nice chunk of bright dust sitting on your character ready for eververse and next season whenever any new eververse store items drop and you will also have get a nice amount of experience from completing these seasonal challenges to level up your current season pass now there are 75 seasonal challenges but you only need to complete 72 of them so you can 
miss three of them and you'll still be fine. And when you do this, you will receive 10K Bright Dust. Yes, 10,000 Bright Dust. That is a lot of Bright Dust to get things from Eververse. And this could save you a lot of money in real life as you won't have to rely on silver to get the new Eververse items when they come out next season, which is very nice. However, if you were someone like me who has struggled to be consistent with their weekly seasonal challenges because you're busy, your busy personal life, then I would not recommend you try to complete all of these seasonal challenges. All I'm saying is that you should complete as many as you can because this is a lot of bright dust sitting on the table that you'll be missing out on if you do not complete at least some of them before next season and you will not be able to complete these seasonal challenges once the next season begins because when it does it will be locked out and you won't be able to complete these triumphs so just make sure you complete as many as you can before next season to have a leg up on bright dust another beneficial thing you can do to help prepare for next season is to stock up on materials this includes glimmer legendary shards Bright Dust, Ascendant Shards, Upgrade Modules, Spoils of Conquest for the next Day 1 Raid, Enhancement Prisms, and lastly Enhancement Corps. If you haven't already, go to the tower and head to the Exotic Archive and pick up Legend of Agrius as well as its Catalyst. Because next season, I am telling you guys, this is going to be one of the best exotics next season. And here's why. Because next season, Bungie will be buffing the Legend of Agrius. They will be giving it Trench Barrel, which is a 50% damage buff whenever you punch an enemy with this weapon. And on top of that, Legend of Agrius being Arc is huge too. Because next season, it's Arc 3.0. Now, you can get the... Arc Agrius Catalyst from completing Nightfall activities. So just complete a few Nightfalls and you should get it to drop. If you have not already, make sure to get this exotic because it will be an absolute powerhouse next season. I assure you. Now for one of the most hated and tedious things to do to prepare for any upcoming season is to clean out your vault. This can mean getting rid of horrible weapon rolls that are mediocre and don't perform well and rolls on weapons that you don't even use or perhaps armor rolls that are terrible or have terrible stat distribution like this one make sure to put your best arc weapons in the vault as they will be meta next season because of the arrival of arc 3.0 and if you're like me and have many duplicate armor or weapon rolls and your vault minimize the amount of excessive rolls you have as you don't need no more than three at most there you have it guardians my personal list of essential key things you can do right now by the way to prepare for next season before you go i kindly ask that you subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video i highly recommend you check out my previous destiny 2 video where I showcase the best R3.0 exotics currently for next season. Thank you awesome guardians for watching and I will see you guys later.